Meet Jonas Salk. He's an American medical researcher and virologist. He received his medical degree from NYU in 1939 and went on to spend most of his career in medical research. His most important contribution, the polio vaccine. Now, if you're not familiar with polio, it's a viral disease that causes muscle weakness, paralysis, trouble breathing, and death. During Salk's time, there were many misconceptions about vaccines, as well as polio. Many people thought vaccines caused disease, and scientists at one point believed that ice cream caused polio. Salk went on to attend the University of Michigan on a research fellowship to develop a flu vaccine. This was where he learned the methodology of vaccine development. He worked to research the polio vaccine in 1947. This was his major contribution to public health. He first tested his vaccine on his wife and kids, a lab scientist, some volunteers, and himself, all of whom never contracted polio. Rather, they all developed antibodies necessary to fight the disease. National testing of the vaccine began in 1954. There are one million six to nine-year-olds tested. On April 12, 1955, it was announced that the polio vaccine had been successful. In the two years before the polio vaccine was released, cases of polio in the U.S. were 45,000. In 1962, that number had dropped to 910. Hailed as a miracle worker, Salk never patented the vaccine or earned any money from it. He instead preferred that it be widely distributed so that every kid could have access to it. Founding the Salk Institute for Biological Studies in La Jolla, California in 1963 was his second triumph. He was aided with $20 million from the National Science Foundation in support from the March of Dimes. Salk spent his last years searching for a vaccine against AIDS. He died on June 23, 1995 at the age of 80 in La Jolla, California. He is survived by his famous quote, Hope lies in dreams, in imagination, and in the courage of those who dare to make dreams into reality.